Hi, Joe Ryan here with Precision Digital. I'd like to show you this quick demonstration of how a ProView PD6210 works. Let's take a look at the different parts of this system. On the left, we have a PD9502 signal generator. It's used to generate a 4 to 20 milliamp signal, which we bring into our ProView PD6210. This batch controller can have the four relays on board, and on the front has menu, start, batch, and stop keys. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Connected via an M-Link cable, I have two expansion modules here. One gives me an additional four relays, so I can have up to eight relays in the system. And the second gives me four digital inputs and four digital outputs. My four digital inputs are connected this PDA 2364 batch control station, which gives me my menu, start, batch, and stop buttons in a remote control station with nice, large, rugged buttons. So let's see how all that works. On my PD6210, I have my start, batch, and stop keys. I'm currently displaying the batch total on the top and I'm showing my preset on the bottom. I can change what displays on the bottom by pressing the stop key while in stop mode. So I could see my grand total, my batch count, or my preset value. To change the preset, I would hit the batch key, and then just use the front arrow keys to change the batch size. In this case, we're trying to batch to 100 gallons. To start the batch, all I need to do is press the start key. When I do, I'm going to see relays 1 and 2 appear in my indicator windows, letting me know that relay 1 and 2 have triggered. This is set up for a dual stage batch controller, and I have relay 2 programmed to close 20 gallons before the end of the batch, so that the batch will finish with only one relay on. So let's hit the start key and see what happens. You'll notice my top window is now showing me my batch total. My bottom window is showing me my preset. And I have a 1 and a 2 indicator here showing me that those are the two relays that are currently triggered. When the top display gets to 80, 20 gallons before my 100 gallon batch total, you're going to see that that second relay is going to close because of that 20 gallon pre-close. Now it's going to finish the batch with only one relay closed until it gets to 100 gallons. If I want to restart the batch, I just hit the start key again, and it starts back over from zero. If I don't want to use my front panel push buttons, I have the remote control station configured, so I can just press the stop key here if I wish to pause the batch, and if I want to cancel it completely then, I can hit the stop key. If I start a new batch, and I decide I want to pause the batch. You'll notice it says pause, and then to restart, all I have to do is hit the start key again. And that's all there is to the PD6210 batch controller. In this case, with up to eight relays, a four to 20 milliamp output, four digital inputs, four digital outputs, a four to 20 milliamp input, and two 24 volt power supplies to run both the input and the output loops. Thank you.